Hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is michelle and we are back to doing life with michelle again you know i took a break i didn't expect it to be that long but that's the past right let's focus on the present and the present is that i'm back and i'm back with a vlog right so i'm going to school yes i'm gonna i'm just going to pick it where we left off I'm, I'm going to class i'm actually supposed to be leaving the house right now i'm going to class i have a 9 a.m class and also an afternoon class however there is culture week going on in school and culture week is such a huge thing in usau like everything stops for culture week so i might i might or might not attend the afternoon class because everyone is gonna be busy culture week yeah so i have a morning class and then i'm going to do my monthly shopping for this month which is for march yeah and we're gonna do that together and yeah so let me go to school and i'll catch up with you guys more i'm not leaving now i'm here to stay okay yeah so let me go to class you guys and then we'll go shopping together come back home and yeah got back home from from shopping i had a class in the morning as i said and can we talk about how extra usiu culture week is like i'm even told that this one was a bit disorganized compared to the last i didn't attend the previous culture parade but i attended the previous culture night and it was really amazing like 10 out of experience like it, it is so nice to see people who know like their culture and who know you know dressing in different attires the dances the parades the fashion shows the food like it is really really amazing my intention was not even to go but like i was leaving school and then i saw like the parade happening and i was like okay let me wait and see what this is about Hey, was I not mesmerized? Ha! Ah, like, I was literally, like, mind 
blown i won't even like especially burundi and nigeria oh my god like the drums the dramas are they called dramas or dramists i think no it's dramas yeah the drum the dramas the horses by nigeria oh my god like they even had a king oh my <laughs> like it was so beautiful to watch i was just like hi yeah like i was so shocked india as well like really showed out but i didn't record but hey guys it's really beautiful and at the same time i was feeling sad i was feeling sad because i don't know my culture like that like i try to learn but i really really don't know my culture and it makes me sad because if i don't know my culture how about my kids like right now i'm from watching um uh angie mukora's stories on ig she recently had that Rora show my god like it is so beautiful and she was going in detail explaining the kikuyu cultures and why this is done the names of the occasions like i was just so mesmerized i'm like guy you know this Rora show topic i always say i even tell my friends i don't want a Rora show when the time is right because it feels like mockery or it feels like I'm doing it for the sake because I don't even understand the culture. Like I don't even understand why it happens, you know. So I just feel like doing such things without understanding and without like understanding why it happens, what this, what this, what the processes signify and symbolize. I feel like is important before you take on such activities. But it's not like I don't want. I do, but Nivile too. I don't understand my own culture. So why would I be there having a relation at a living a You get. But it's beautiful, you know. Like it's so beautiful seeing people immersed in their culture. Like I was so sad for myself. I was just like, oh my God. Like these people actually know what they wear in their culture. I know what they wear, but like I know very few details of the Kikuyu culture very very few details like 0 0.5 out of 10 you see i try to learn you know especially how to speak kikuyu but yeah yeah we really need to do something about this as gen z because i was just standing there and i was just looking like personally for me i feel like if i don't learn my culture that's the end of it like that's the end of a heritage or the end of like we'll just be the next of offspring from me will just be lost like no sense of culture no sense of belonging no nothing and i feel like it's so sad so it's kind of sad i was like oh my god and then to make matters worse kenya disappointed me on that parade like guys they were not even my size. Like I am, I I I'm not in a position to judge because I wasn't even there helping or anything. But still, they were not my size. They were not even Mijikenda dancers. They were no Kikuyu cultural dancers. Like guys, uh uh. But maybe they redeemed themselves because after the parade there was the small function. I don't know what it's called. And then tomorrow there's going to be culture night. So maybe they have a lot more to show as well as uganda they really disappointed me like those two kenya and uganda really really disappointed me during the the what is it called the cultural parade those that stood out were burundi nigeria and india huh? i didn't record india but they really showed out like i was so jealous i was so jealous i was like can i can i be part of your culture at least teach me like i want to be part of you guys because like you know so much and like you they were so happy and so proud and like you know hey it's so beautiful i last checked in when was it wednesday yeah it's it's wednesday when i last vlogged today is saturday and i'm getting my nails done i've had these nails for a month now like it's been a month i usually don't get such long nails nowadays because i have chose to do it the house but then because of the design she said it wouldn't look nice on short nails so then i had to get long nails and then i do my nails at home yeah i do my nails at home i've been doing my nails um at home for almost a year now about like nine months since when since around 
may last year actually it's been more than a year i got this um lady online called nailsify i'm going to put it on the screen the her ig page and she's so good like she's really really good especially with those like um up-to-date designs like she's really 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 good so she's the one who does my nails and she does like she does home service like how cool is that like having your nails done at the comfort of your house i find it so amazing and it's been as i said a year now she's been doing my nails it's not necessarily cheaper it's almost the same price um as the as like if i would go to do my nails let's say at greenhouse mall or let's say in town it would be the same price because we're calculating with my friends like if i was to go to town it would be 700 going and coming back by uber right and then you get the nails done at the same price of four five or five thousand depending on the design and then when you total it comes up to the same thing because she does a net um a net price for transport as one thousand like you have to pay the one thousand for, tra for transport <coughs> so yeah like I love it like i love having to do my nails at home i'm gonna show you the after this is the before i'm gonna show you after how it looks like and i'm going to put here the design that i'm going for and then you guys will see how good she is like she's so good yeah anyway i'll catch up with you guys later yes, i finished doing the nails this is the final result and i'm gonna put the inspo i love the height i love the design i love everything Like hello, brother. Say I just saw you. Saw you post a spectacular photo. 